Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe what's meant by the words relative atomic mass and then go on to calculate the relative atomic mass for an element. In a previous video, we looked at isotopes. Remember that isotopes are atoms of an element containing different numbers of neutrons. I'm showing you here the isotopes for the element chlorine. Both of these isotopes have an atomic number of 17 which means that both have got 17 protons in their nucleus. However, the isotopes have got different mass numbers, telling us that they've got different numbers of neutrons. This isotope contains 18 neutrons, whereas this isotope contains 20 neutrons. Now, there's a problem here, which is which mass number do we use for chlorine on the periodic table? Looking on the periodic table, we can see that the mass number for chlorine is actually 35.5. So the question is, how do we get 35.5 from two isotopes with mass numbers of 35 and 37? The answer is that we take an average of the mass numbers for each isotope. Scientists call this the relative atomic mass. However, there is one extra point. The relative atomic mass is weighted for the abundance of each isotope. The word abundance tells us how common each isotope is. Looking at chlorine, the isotope with a mass number of 35 is three times more common than the isotope with a mass number of 37. This explains why the relative atomic mass of chlorine is much closer to 35 than to 37. Now in the exam you could be asked to calculate the relative atomic mass for an element based on its isotopes, so let's look at how we do this. We use this equation. The relative atomic mass is the mass number of isotope 1 multiplied by the percent abundance of isotope 1 this is then added to the mass number of isotope 2 multiplied by the percent abundance of isotope 2, and we divide all of this by 100. Here's an example for you to try. Boron has two common isotopes. The first has a mass number of 10, and this has a 20% abundance. The second has a mass number of 11, and this has an 80% abundance. So I'd like you to pause the video now and calculate the relative atomic mass of boron. Okay, putting these numbers into the equation gives us a relative atomic mass for boron of 10.8. Now in the GCSE periodic table, the relative atomic mass for boron has been rounded up to 11, and here it is. Remember you'll find lots more questions on calculating relative atomic mass in my revision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe what's meant by the words relative atomic mass and then go on to calculate the relative atomic mass for an element.